want to say, okay, to all my naturals out there, sis, I understand the struggle, okay? Because the reason why I haven't been doing these hairstyles is because I get tired of doing my hair, okay? I What's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaleesa and if this is your first time here, welcome. Ooh, I got hair. Is that hair? That's just disrespectful. That was hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright you guys, in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to achieve a nice juicy twist out using Miel Organics. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So, this is not my first time using Miel Organics. My first time using Miel Organics was like a couple months ago. I did a wash and go and I used too much product. Um, I did have some flaking, but I ended up reading the packaging and realized that it was my fault. It's not Miel's, it's my fault. So, just really quickly, I'm going to let you guys know that I'm going to be using the Pomegranate and Honey Coil Sculpting Coaster. I said that wrong. It's the, it's the Pomegranate and Honey Coal Sculpting Custard by Miel, okay? Now, I do have this pack. I'm cheap, y'all. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me because you probably done this too. But I bought this um, not too long ago as well. And this is the leave-in to match the custard. And I only have a little bit. I don't think I have enough to do my whole head. Um, but I do have the white pony conditioner, leave-in conditioner, which I love. It smells amazing. That's the one thing I like about Miel Organics is that everything smells really good. So this custard smells really, really, it, it's very pomegranate and honey. It's very pomegranate and honey, but I, but I love how it smells. So I know my hair is going to smell bomb. The custard has a very jelly texture. Now, here's the thing. I have to use heavy gels on my hair to get that definition, that curl pattern that everyone is looking for. Um, this doesn't have a sticky consistency. It's more like a jelly instead of a gel, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be using that today on my hair. Now, I am also going to be putting a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on my hair. Um, reading the directions, the directions say, prime wet hair with pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner before styling. Optional for best results, apply Miel Mint Almond Oil after priming hair. Um, after priming while hair is still wet for added conditioning and to reduce the potential of flaking. Now, I appreciate her for being honest in that. I'm going to use the virgin olive oil because I don't have her mint almond oil. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this. I'm sorry if I've been talking too much. So I have some water in this bottle. I am going to be wetting down my sections. Wait, I'm going to part my hair into four sections really quickly. And I'm not trying to change the whole thing. I need it all the way. I'm going to be holding that shit crazy. All right. Okay, so I'm going to start off on this back section. I am going to re-wet my hair. My hair dries like stupid, like stupid fast. And sometimes it's kind of aggravating because I feel like this is why I can't get no moisture to stay in my hair. Because it's been dry, baby. I've been struggling with my natural hair lately. That's why I haven't been doing no natural hair videos because I didn't want to be one of those fake people. Doing natural hair videos, knowing darn well I'm mad with my hair. Um, I've been pissed with my hair. I have literally spent the last couple of weeks straightening my hair because I was considering getting a relaxer. But you know what? I was like, I looked at my baby's hair and I was like, I'm not going to do it. So we're going to get back right to treating my hair like it needs the care. Okay, so I'm going to start off in this back section. I do have a knockoff tangle teaser <laughs> that I'm going to be using. I already detangled in the shower. I did wash my hair with Shea Moisture. Um, I think it's the black Jamaican cast oil line. I did. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some of this into a cup. So this is how the leave-in looks, that little white, this. Um, it really looks like um, 
the custard gel almost. And I'm going to use that and concentrate on my ends because that's the driest part of my hair. My hair be like stupid dry. Show you really quickly, this is how my hair looks with just the leave-in in. And that doesn't look too bad to me. Okay, adding the custard now. Okay. Okay, I didn't even have to really add that much. Ooh, this makes me want to wash and go so bad. But what I'm going to do is just go ahead and two-strand twist my hair. I want to make sure that the parts are even as possible and make sure that I get as close to the roots as humanly possible with my twist. I'm also smoothing down the hair shaft as I go to make sure that I have product distribution and also just to make sure that it's as smooth as possible and I'm coiling the end and that is how my twist looks. I forgot to put my olive oil on my hair. Dang it! So that's the first twist. I did forget to do the olive oil um, but what I'm going to do is just dip my hands in it and run that across the top of it. Now what I am going to do is I am going to be curling the ends with a rod so I'm just going to add that to the end and then roll that up some and then secure it and bow well not bow yet bow okay so I just wanted to show you guys a close-up of that's how it looks and so I'm gonna do that throughout my whole head okay, so cue the montage because I don't out there sis I understand the struggle okay because the reason why I haven't been doing these hairstyles is because I get tired of doing my hair okay I just want to put that out there I just want to put that out there for y'all I understand the struggle because sis sis I was about to straighten my hair I was about to put a relaxer in it I was like that's why I haven't been doing no hair videos because sis has been over here struggling and my arms are tired. Like, when I get done with this, I'm going to tie my hair down. And I don't want nobody to talk to me about hair for a good little minute. Because I braided both of my daughter's hair this weekend. And I probably have to do a, a retwist on my husband's hair. And I'm back to doing natural hair videos. Okay. Rant's over. Let's get back to doing this hair. <laughs> Everything is all twisted up. I am going to come back tomorrow once my hair is dry. See y'all tomorrow. All right, you guys. So I am back. It is the next day. My hair is completely dry. And um, I'm excited to see how this is going to come out. I hope it looks cute. I did try to do my edges. It did not come out. 100% like I wanted it so don't judge me I'm still working on it but when I'm gonna go ahead I'm so excited I'm so excited and I just can't hide it <laughs> The twists are very juicy and that's what I like about them I don't see any I don't see any flaking 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking them out. <laughs> very very moisturized the curl definition is definitely there I actually love how this looks um I really really like this I like how the ends of my hair are kind of like curly bow oh look at that little curl all right so I really like how my hair looks I am scared to manipulated um because i kind of like how this looks but i really want that full look i'm not sure you know i'm used to my hair being big and right now it's like really flat but i still like it but we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these apart i hope i don't get a lot of frizz so now when I'm pulling them apart, I'm trying to find what kind of like natural stories. Not. I'm kind of already liking how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and separate this side of my hair off camera. separated this is not I'm gonna show you guys the back even though I can't see what you see can you see what I see I like my hair y'all okay let me shake 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 yes okay let me go separate this side and then let's see what it do now I have a little bit of a dilemma because all of my picks are like in my car and my husband left the house, so I don't have any of my picks. So what I'm going to be using is this comb right here to kind of like lift up my roots a little bit. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go in and like pull them up to give me a little bit of lift and volume. I don't want to disrupt the curl pattern. So as you can see, I'm pulling my hair and kind of like just pulling at the roots. That's the only part I want some lift on. And as you can see, you can already tell from the comparison just that little bit. These are the results. This is my twist out. And I love it. I don't want to fluff it up too much because I am trying to wear this hairstyle for a couple of days. But as you guys can see, this looks amazing. Right, so I give me L four stars. Yep, out of five, I give her four. I am thoroughly in love with this. If you want like a soft hold, like look at that body, y'all. Like, ah, look at that body. Like it just, and it smells amazing. Like my hair looks really good right now. Like it looks so good. Like I cannot wait to take a few pictures with this. Not crunchy at all but my hair is moisturized it smells good like this right here was worth it i could definitely say that this this was worth it this was definitely worth it all right you guys so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you so much for joining my family sis and hey girl hey until next time peace